For those of you, you already know what is a splat map, the first part of this video could be a little bit boring. So you can skip to the second part where I explain how to implement a splat map in mtrain plugin. But if you don't know about it or you want to know it better, stay with me. So the story begins when we want to choose four or five texture and put them on our train. But our shader does not know where each of these textures should go. And we need to specify them by a splat map. And before explaining about that, I want to tell you something. About one month ago, I opened my Patreon page and some days ago, someone became my first member. Actually, I didn't expect to someone become the member of my Patreon because my Patreon is almost empty. But thank you, Nicholas uh, Paulet. I hope I pronounce your name correct for supporting me and becoming the first member of my Patreon. Okay, let me explain. Better how a splat map work by bring this texture into GIMP because this has also the same concept. Here is a ground texture in GIMP. I added a white mask to this texture. So the mask in GIMP is a gray texture which determine which part of our texture is transparent. Right now the entire mask texture is white so no part of our texture is transparent. Now if I paint a black color on some part of my mask, you can see some part of the image become transparent. And now if I show you the mask image, this is the mask image. You can see the black part on my mask is the transparent part of my texture. Now I have five texture in total. I put them in layers and as you know, in Photoshop or GIMP, the top layer have the priority. Here except for the bottom layer, I added a mask for four top layer. For now, all of the masks are black and that means all of the four top layer are transparent completely. And because of that, we see the bottom layer. But if I paint the white color on this mask, you can see the top layer will appear. I can paint on other layer mask and in some section, if two masks are white, the priority is with texture which is on the top layer. A splat map has the same concept. A splat map is a texture which can have four channels. Red, green, blue and alpha channel. Each of these channels represent one of these masks. First you put a background texture. Then you set the transparency of the first layer according to the value of the red channel. And you do the same thing for other channels. So a splat mapping has some pros and cons. Pros is that it is really simple. Also, it lets you to specify the transparency of each layer with a lot of control. The cons is that you can mix maximum five texture with one splat map texture with four color channel. Nowadays, there are a lot of more advanced methods to combine texture in train, like index mapping and so on. And by the way, mtrain also supports some kind of index mapping which let you mix 256 different textures. But one important thing that I want to say here is this. Despite a lot of new technologies available for mixing train texture, splat mapping is still good and simple and it works. If you take in account the limitation of the GPU memory these days, there are many cases that you don't need to mix more than five texture together. Because beside train, you have texture for many other assets and considering that Godot for now does not support texture streaming, we should be careful about the GPU memory. And by the way, there is a way around to mix more texture even with one splat map. And that is to make some part of the train texture mixing procedurally and some part with a splat map which hopefully I will make tutorial about them later. Well, let's do this thing in mtrain plugin. So this is what we achieved in the last video. Now we want to mix these five textures. First, let me create a uniform for all of these textures. Here BG is the background texture and we have texture for each channel of our splat map. I just delete the code from the previous tutorial now we need to create a splat map texture. The way you can create that is this. Just go to project, tools and image creator. Here the first thing we should do is to choose a good name for our texture and you should remember this name for later use. I just call this a splat map. 
now you should choose a good image format for it and this depends on your train type if you want to mix for example two texture together also format r8 which has only one channel is enough for you but in case you need more channel you can also select other one too we need four channel here so we can choose format rgba8 which is a 32 bit image and has four channel but for now i will choose format rgba4 which is in total 16 bit and has also four channel so this one occupy half the space of the other format choose that and click on the create image so now if you look at your data folder four other image for each region has been created so to use this kind of texture in your shader code create a uniform with the same name that you choose for your texture just add m train prefix to that you can import as many texture you want with this way now let's sample our splat map and as you know from the previous video we should sample that with region uv now before mixing our texture let me assign splat map to albedo so i can see that you can see we have a black splat map but one thing that i want to note here is that it is better to set all of the value for red green blue and alpha channel to zero so let me correct that i just remove the splat map texture and then i just create the splat map and this time for default color i also set the alpha value to zero okay done and remember every time you change something in m train material you should restart the train after that you need to create your layer of painting down here in train setting just create one layer group for now i just use the color paint as my brush if you want to have more control over your painting and you want that you control each channel separately you can also use channel painter brush now i have five texture to mix so i create five layer and for the color value i set the value of all channel to zero i also select the icon for that this icon can be anything i just choose the albedo texture for this texture then i create channel for red green and blue and alpha finally i set an icon for all of them also you should tell this layer group on which image you want to paint I want to paint on a splat map so I type the splat map name here for title it does not matter you can set that to anything you want now just activate paint mode and open paint layer and switch this to color brush for the first time you switch this to color brush it can take a while because it is grabbing and resizing the icons now you can paint on a splat map image the first part is done now we should mix our texture based on this splat map so the way we do that is just by setting the background image to a variable and then we mix that variable with another texture based on the red channel of the splat map repeat this process for other channel and remember the order of the mixing does matter those channel mixed in bottom are in top layer now if i set this variable to albedo you can see the textures on our train and same as before you can paint on the train you can do the same process for normal map texture and i really recommend to pack your texture by packing the texture i mean putting height map roughness and ambient occlusion into albedo or normal map three channels by doing this you can increase a lot of your performance because you sample less time in your shader code i hope you like this video and till the next video have a good time